This will surprise no one who knows me, but at school I was a more academic kind of student. I was better at the Englishes, the sciences, the histories than I was at the artsy kind of stuff. The artsy kind of stuff I was terrible at, and I always was terrible at. Case in point, primary school. In one year, I think it was year four, the teacher asked us to make sort of little wiry model things and then cover them in sort of, I don't know what it was, but it was something, but we would create wire model things and then paint them and everybody else who came out looking really nice they did flowers they did houses they did all sorts of really nice stuff so what the fuck is this i mean it's just a just a lump on one side it's red for the blood of angry men and the other side it's blue for the dark of ages past it was supposed to be a, a sort of grisly monster but it kind of went a bit wrong so it ended up as a red and blue lump somewhere in there is the wire monster still but I'm not going to rip it open to find out because I've grown accustomed to this little lump then another time in primary school we were doing a book called The Hodgehead it was about this hedgehog who keeps crossing a road to go to a park it's a prequel to Flat Stanley but as part of our study of this book they made us make clay models of hedgehogs and you know what this guy ain't bad is he i like he, he's got a little um a little wry smile that's that's kind of nice i like that and you know what this is this is kind of kind of proves that i wasn't that bad at art after all when i put a bit of effort in it was all right the problem with this is what the teacher told me to do oh no just put a little face on it even when it already had a face so it ended up with that on the back so basically it's a hedgehog with a bit chopped out of it chompy i'm gonna call him chompy i don't have much of what i did at school but there is one more thing i have henry v this was this was a high school project it was um woodwork and we were just supposed to make something in general so I made a little um little Henry V because I'm I'm geeky like that you know what this again like the hedgehog it's not too bad I mean it's got a bit of um blue foam at the back that didn't work that well but overall it's it's quite a nice little charming cartoony thing once more another bridge dear friends once more or close the walls up with our english gag should we do the entirety of shakespeare's henry v with this in fact no i've got henry the fourth part one down there or is it in the cupboard well i've got henry the fourth part one somewhere so if i find uh, find a um, find a false stuff right we can do a scene from Henry the Fourth, Part One. In fact, let's do the bit with um, where Falstaff says, "Oh, would you banish me to all the world?" And Henry the Fifth said, or the future Henry the Fifth says, "Yeah, I'm going to banish you for all the world." Let's do that scene with this and a Falstaff, if I can find a Falstaff. But yeah, Henry the Fifth. That's that's one of the better things I did at school. The rest of the time, I was absolute rubbish, and the stuff went in the bin. I've mentioned before about how I managed to fail photography because it was artsy. Although since then my photography, link in the description, it has improved a great deal, as has my artistic endeavour. I am far better at art these days than I was at school. Which brings me to this. It's a faux crocodile skin photo album and in here drawings maps plans little little computer sketches this is the artwork for my literary universe this is the concept book if you like this is where i keep what the characters look like what the places look like if you want to see some of the pictures i've put some of them on my facebook page just some of the 
better ones just to prove, you know, I'm better at art than I was. That would surprise my teachers, that would. Me being good at art.